Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. How are you everybody? Are you okay? I hope everybody will be fine. Guys, today's topic is related with quantity survey, especially for staircase. And the topic is BBS of staircase, bar bending schedule for staircase. And also construction cost of reinforcement for stairs. This is very useful for those students which are working on construction site or especially for non-civil engineering people or if you want to learn how to find quantity of steel for staircase and also its construction cost. As you know guys, we make BBS bar bending schedule for RCC structure especially in civil engineering if that is column, beam or slab or any structure. So it's important to make its BBS bar bending schedule and also its construction cost easily from the help of BBS. Let's start guys. The topic is BBS of staircase and construction cost of reinforcement for staircase. Guys, you can see here, this is cross section of steer, straight steer. And here, uh, we don't need to go in detail about its trade, waste, etc. Uh, just we will find its quantity of steel x bar and also y bars and numbers of y bars x bars etc so what we will discuss in this video especially first of all finding length of x bar and y bars right and second finding the numbers of x bars and y bars third finding total length of x bar and y bar fourth total weight of total weight or finding total weight of x bar and y bars then it will be clear so guys let's start as you know this is guys uh, steel uh, steel graph for this section cross section okay so first of all how we can find the actual length of actual length of waste as you can see guys this is waste of staircase waste so we need to find how to find waste of steer so guys for example if this length is for example with me that is x and that this one is for example y okay so i required here the distance actual distance or actual length of the waist which become z so what should be the z okay so you can use the formula to find z okay so we need what x square plus y square under root with this formula you can find the distance of z z this one the actual length of waist okay with this formula i have already discussed about this if you didn't watch that video so the link is in the description of this video okay guys you can see here the length of the waist is here 3.25 meter okay and here we have this one 3.35 3.25 and 3.25 uh, 3.25 and 3.35 and here its width is 0 0.8 meter and here 0 0.7 meter so what's the problem here what's the reason behind this that there we have 0 0.7 meter and here is we have 0 0.8 meter here we have the total west length that is 3.35 this one is 3.35 3.35 and here 3.25 so let me discuss about this here guys you can see uh, also we have x bars and also we have y bars okay so finding the length of x bar and y bar okay so here i need to find length length of each x bar length of each x bar okay so what are the x bars so guys you can see these are x bars this one okay these are x bars so here guys how we can find the length of x bars you can see here the waist of the length of the waist is here what 3.35 meters okay so you can keep 3.35 meter and 
subtract 0 0.05, uh, 0 0.05 meter and also subtract 0 0.05 meter because here guys we have the concrete cover so one side concrete cover deduction and other side concrete cover deduction is important it should be deduct okay because we need the x length okay x bar length steel bar length because we are finding the quantity of steel so therefore we should deduct the clear cover or concrete cover from each side so we have concrete cover here guys that is 0 0.05 meter also this side we have 0 0.05 meter so guys you can see here from 3.35 meter we will subtract 0 0.05 also subtract 0 0.05 it means deduction concrete cover from both sides okay from both sides concrete cover should be deduct from both side one side 0 0.05 another side 0 0.05 meter so this is the length of what length of x bar okay which is this one 0 0.3 uh, sorry 3.25 this one now guys come to length of y bar so what is y bar so this is y bars you can see guys these are y bars now we will find length of y bars so guys we have 0 0.8 meter width of steel okay so as you can see length of each y bar is 0 0.8 meter is the clear width of staircase now guys we have also deduction of concrete cover from this side okay and also from this side so when we are deduct this so 0 0.8 subtract 0 0.05 concrete cover other side also 0 0.05 so deduction concrete cover both side okay so it should be also from both side we will deduct okay so guys we will get the value when you subtract 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 from the 0 0.8 meter then we will get 0 0.0 here sorry 0 0.7 meter 0 seven meter which is this one 0 0.7 meter without concrete cover and this with concrete cover this with concrete cover this without concrete cover clear now guys the second step is also very important to find uh, to finding the numbers of x bar and y bars now we need to find x bars and y bars okay so here guys we need the spacing of steel bar spacing of steel bar which I keep here 100 mm spacing is 100 mm C slash C can show you spacing 100 mm or 0 0.1 meter okay so guys here we have finding numbers of X bar so I need numbers of X bar okay I need number of X bars okay so how we can find numbers of x bars okay we need to find numbers of x bars so to find numbers of x bars okay sorry the first one to find numbers of x bar just a minute okay guys sorry for this okay so numbers of y bar first of all i will find numbers of y bars okay numbers of y bars how we can find numbers of y bars and the second one is number of x bars sorry for this mistake okay so numbers of y bar i required so guys the formula is opposite length opposite length divided by spacing between two steel bar plus one right so guys opposite length now we have the opposite length this one length okay which is 3.25 so 3.25 divide by spacing between two steel bars spacing between two steel bars plus one this is the formula so the opposite length is guys here you have the opposite length this one 3.25 so opposite length are total length of x bar to find numbers of y bars so we will put length of x bar because we are we are finding the y bars okay so we need to find numbers of y bars so opposite length so opposite length should be here remember opposite length of so we will put here length of x bar 
Okay, so the length of x bar is here. You can see three point length of x bar that is 3.25 meter. So put here 3.25 meter divided by 0.1. So when you divide 100 mm, 100 mm divided by 1000. Okay, so we will get 0 .0, 0 0.1 meter. Okay, 0. 1 meter so guys this is the spacing okay so the spacing 0 0.1 meter so 3.25 divided by 0 0.1 plus 1 so we need 34 numbers of bars we required y bars 34s now guys we need numbers of x bars okay so for numbers of x bar opposite length divided by spacing again plus 1 so here the opposite length should be length of y bar so here we need length of y bar so guys you can see the length of y bar is 0 0.0 0 0.7 meter here guys you can see length of y bar is 0 0.7 meter okay so 0 0 0.7 meter divided by spacing that is 0 0.1 meter and plus 1 so we required 8 bars we required 8 bars so here to find numbers of x bar so we required 34 x bars and eight, uh, sorry, 34 Y bars and X bars, we required eight numbers, eight bars, okay? Now guys, come to the uh, fourth point, finding total length of X bars and Y bars. Finding total length of X bar and Y bars, okay? So guys, you can see here, total length of X bar is, total length of X bar is, because one bar is, x bar length is 3.25 which is this one 3.3.25 and we have total numbers to get full length of x bar total length of x bar so we have eight numbers so 3.25 multiply 8 so we required 26 meter length for x bar okay now in second case total length of y bar so is equal 0 0.7 is the actual length of y bar multiply we have 34 numbers as you can see guys here we require 34 numbers so here we need 23.8 meter length of y bar right now guys finding total length of x bar and y bar finding total length of x bar uh, total weight of x bar and y bar so here guys we need a formula to find the weight of bar in kg so this is the formula to find weight of bar in kg that is the old formula which i have discussed in many videos that d square divided by 162 which can give us the weight of steel in kg per meter okay so i'm using here the die of steel bar okay the die of steel bar for both for x bar and also for y bar which i'm using here 10 mm okay so 10 mm die of steel bar so to get 10 mm die of steel bar so 10 square divided by 162 so 0 0.61 kg per meter is the weight of 10 mm 10 mm die of steel bar for one meter okay now guys come to for x bars okay because uh, now we need total uh, total weight of x bar and y bar okay so unit weight of the steel is this one for 10 millimeter now guys for x bar 10 mm total weight of x bar that is total weight of x bar 26 meter we have guys 26 meter okay that you can see this one for x bar okay so 26 meter multiply 0 0.617 0 0.617 so we required 16 kg of steel for x bar and now for y bar 10 mm total weight of y bar that is 23.8 meter you can see 23.8 meter multiply 0 0.61 so we required 14.68 kgs now total weight of steel bar required for this tier case which width is 0 0.8 and its length is 3.25 so we required so total weight 16 plus 14.68 16 plus 16 plus uh sorry 23 where is uh, this one 16 plus 14.68 sorry sorry for this okay because 23 is the length so now guys you can see 16 plus 14.68 okay so we required 30.680 uh, uh, 30.68 kg steel required so say we required 31 kg of steel bar for this staircase okay 
now guys remember that the price of the okay nowadays per ton means 1000 kg steel rate is price is in current especially in pakistan that is 1 lakh and 14000 per ton price of the steel is 1 lakh 14000 per 1000 kg so per ton so when you divide 1 lakh 14000 by 1000 one look 1 lakh 14000 by 1000 so 1 kg rate is 114 rupees per kg so this is the weight uh, rate of our price of 1 kg steel in current uh, market okay so now when you multiply 31 with 140 you will get the total construction cost of reinforcement for this staircase which i have discussed the front of you so guys this is the method by which you can find uh, total quantity of steel bar for staircase uh, which i have discussed the front of you so this is bbs of staircase and also construction cost of reinforcement which i have discussed the front of you so guys if you have any question about this topic so you can comment but this is the method so if you have more length okay or uh, there isn't any uh, any problem okay this is the simple method by which you can find quantity of steel easily especially in staircase thanks for watching see you in next video Goodbye.